So, Jonathan, you, you said that this is the matchup that really no one wanted to see. And I'm curious as to why you think there haven't been more people looking to take this job on. Oh, yeah. Because you know, it, it, it just, I, I mean, people, you know, you have the age thing. I don't care if he's 4,000 years old, as long as he gets the job done. Right. He gets the job done, I'm cool with that. Right. But why, why do you think there's been such a jerk? Well, let, let, let's look on the Democratic side for a second. Okay. I mean, when, when Biden ran in 2020 in the primaries, he talked about being a bridge to the next generation. Mm -hmm. He said that line exactly in a speech after the Michigan primary, after right. he won the Michigan right. primary. And standing with him were people like Cory Booker, mm -hmm. Gretchen Whitmer, the governor right. of Michigan. Right. And, I, I mean, he had an opportunity to be that bridge mm -hmm. and to say, I'm not going to run. We've got a lot of talent in the, in the Democratic Party. Let's go to the next generation. And he didn't do that. I think there were a lot of people, I know there were a lot of people, mm -hmm. who wanted him to say, I did it. I beat Trump. I want to, you know, and 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 I've accomplished what I'm. I've had a, I've had a tremendously successful legislative record, Biden, um, and now it's time for the next generation. And I think there's some real frustration, privately expressed, but nobody's going to challenge a, a but sitting. But that's what I don't understand. A sitting Democrat. But I don't understand if yeah. all the Democrats are saying this is not a good idea, and you don't have the to say to the the Democrat that's sitting there. You've said you were going to le you were going to do this, and now here we are, and we want to we want to take over. Why why is that so? Why is it so hard for people to say, this was great, but we can make it better? The same on the other side. I'm asking the question yeah, on yeah, both sides. No, what I mean is it's, going it's on? In, in some sense it is a lack of courage. It's like it's yeah. saying, look, you know, we've got to, you know, he's he's the president. I, I'll be seen as disloyal to my party, but I mean, this is your chance. Yeah. Go and do it. And look, there are really talented Democrats out yeah. there. Yes. You know, in the, among the governors, yeah. Shapiro, right. Whitmer, yeah. uh, Gavin Newsom, Pritzker. You know. I mean, you've got you've a lot of, you'd have yeah. a, a tremendous primary. Uh, and then for the Republicans, they tried. You know, DeSantis stepped out. Uh, Nikki Haley came out and ran. Uh, Tim Christy? Scott, uh, Christy, Christy too, but, but, but those others, they ran, but they never took the fight to Trump yeah. until yeah. it was too yeah. late. Yes. Right. So what is every, I'm, so this is my well, question to all you Democrats and all you Republicans <laughs> sitting out there. Where are your <laughs> Where are you? It. If you're going to fetch about what's going on and you're not going to step up, what are we supposed to do? And, and, and there's, there's, an, there's an appetite for it. You've yeah. got, like you said, 70% of the country wants somebody else. But it's too late now. now right? it, yeah. it, it is, it is to yeah. all these like dreams that this Michelle Obama yeah. you know, emerged from a curtain <laughs> so, at the convention and say it's me. We have what we it's have. Not happening. Let, let's, it's not happening. It's not happening. Unless, I mean, they're both, unless something happened health wise to either one of them, yeah. then you would have. Right. But let's look at reality, okay? Yeah. All I hear about is how old Joe Biden, Biden is yep. because he trips. He trips, okay? I trip a lot also. She's a young, she's the youngest one at the table. She trips. <laughs> she trips too. Everyone yeah, trips. Yeah, okay. But I I'm, I'm, time I'm time. more worried about Trump okay. because I want you to watch this. This is for him from the past weekend. I showed this yesterday. I'll show it again. In Venezuela, did you just see Maduro? Venezuela, it's an unbelievable. We are a nation that just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be doing. Oh. Even Argentina, they went MAGA. You know Argentina, great guy. He's a big Trump guy. He loves Trump. I love him because he loves Trump. Yeah, so, Mr. Question. Argentina, who right. is that? Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. You know, yeah. you know when Christopher Reeve, the Superman, mm -hmm. when yeah. he became a quadriplegic at that yeah. time, he wanted to kill himself. And I read, his wife said, you are your brain. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know? And I think about these two guys, and I think, you know, Biden trips, he stutters, but he gets things done. And he's rational, even if he makes a mistake here. This man is losing his words, just like somebody in another state that I won't mention. He's losing the words, and he's talking about Argentina as if it's a person. What is the, what, people have to see these tapes and understand what will happen if he's in the White House. And why doesn't the media cover that more than I do? It, he has lost his edge since 2020. Come I, on. I you can you've, speak seen, to that. you've seen the decline. There, there oh is. He's God, never yeah. been a super articulate person no. or somebody. <laughs> that's, um, not, that's kind of you. That's but there, there is a noticeable decline. He's never been Winston <laughs> Churchill. <laughs> never. No, yeah, yeah, no. But I am surprised it doesn't get Barbara more Robinson. attention. She knows. He's using Victor Orban and Erdogan. Like, he's yeah. making some of the same gaffes. No, he's, he's making gaffes. But let's face it, they're, they're both making gaffes. Yeah. Um, and, and, and Biden talked about air dropping food to Ukraine when... He meant, and this was out in, in, in where he was announcing the initiative. Yeah. And, and, but, and but he, Biden has but, a lot to think about. No, Trump it's true. has nothing right. to think about. Trump's got 91 indictments to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying yeah. out of jail. Yeah. Biden has a lot to think about. Yeah. He's got two wars to think about.
have. For no, and, and and he mixes up uh, Obama and Biden so yes. often now that he's. Because they he, look so much what, they right. look what, Of course. <laughs> but, 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 but just at the start of the speech, he'll he'll say, you know, I I, I do this on purpose because he knows he's going to like mess yeah. it up that's again. That's right. And Nikki Haley and Nancy Pelosi, that's a tough yeah. one. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, well, you know, how do you explain listen, that? Listen, none of these guys are going to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. But again, this all rests in your hands. The media cannot tell you how to vote. You're going to have to figure this out and make sure you vote in your local elections because those are the people who are going to make the decisions yep. that go higher up. Don't forget, this is on us. Jonathan Carr, we love when you come to the table. We're just going to make a whole table just for you. Thank you. Thank you.